Hello, my name is Jason Stone and I'm the Instructional Design Specialist for Title III programs at OSU OKC. And today I'm going to share with you some of the Smart Board or Smart Notes functions uh, available to those of you who have purchased the Smart Notes software programs. Let's get started. First, with some reasons why you should listen to me, I have over 16 years of coaching and mentoring experience and experience enhancing other people's performances. I was a university professor and a debate coach for nine years. I taught web enhanced courses. I have scores of faculty enhancement seminars and lectures. I also have familiarity with multiple instructional enhancement software programs like the one that we'll be using today. So why should you learn how to use this? Well, obviously there's a lot of literature out there that says that the amount of technology that is in a class is directly translatable into how much learning occurs in that classroom and that the more technologically intensive uh, your classroom is or your classes that you teach are, uh, the more learning that should theoretically happen in those courses. So you could read all those books and review all that literature or you could just uh, believe in the wisdom of a couple of cartoons that I've decided to share with you today. We have a young lady and she's working a math problem. She asked the teacher, how can I trust you when you're using such outdated technology? Another cartoon. Either use their technology or lose their attention. We have a young man who's at the board and says book reports are due today. He says books are a form of outdated technology created in the dark ages for a society devoid of computers, electronic media, or digital data. In today's society, getting information from a book is like calculating math on your fingers and toes. To grade this report, please post your comments on my blog. The equation is simple, capable professors, innovative teaching technology equals engaged students and academic success. And today I hope to show you about one of those innovative teaching technologies, SmartBoard. So some reasons to use SmartBoard. That research that we looked at er earlier indicates that that technology is going to elevate student engagement, that it's going to enhance their learning, that it's going to decrease your difficulty of explaining things as a teacher, and that it's going to stimulate different learning styles. Of course, some people process information with uh, aud auditarily, some people do it visually, and some people do it experientially. And uh, your use of smart notes or the smart board will stimulate all three of those different learning styles. And then finally, it increases long-term information retention. You put all of those reasons together with you as the committed, technologically capable professor in the middle, and uh, those are some compelling justifications for why you should be using this technology. Now, I know many of you are thinking of some reasons not to use smart boards. You're confused or intimidated by new technology. It will take too long to learn how to use it. You don't have them in all of your classrooms. And or you're not tech savvy. Well, I can tell you that those reasons are not really very good reasons. and. Hopefully you'll learn why all four of them are false as the presentation continues. Using a smart board is not nearly as hard as you would imagine. Smart boards are easier to use than a DVD or a DVR or wireless connection on a cell phone. Professors don't need to have the smart board function to take advantage of some of the smart notes functions that we're going to talk about a little later. And if you can write on a dumb board and surf the internet, then you have enough technology skills to use smart boards. It doesn't take a genius to figure it out, but if you got one, you might as well go ahead and let him endorse your uh, action step. And Mr. Einstein says that committed professors plus smart boards equal learning, and he wishes he had one. Get to the smart notes function simply by clicking on the smart board toolbar from your desktop. I have uh, here a couple of slides that I've already loaded. Uh, into the smart note smart notes function, you uh, is of course a a uh, timer that would allow you to stick people in groups and time a function, or possibly uh, to time your class as they uh, complete a quiz. You might tell them at the beginning of the class that they're going to have five minutes and only five minutes to complete their assignment or their quiz, and uh, you could count them down accordingly. We also have a couple of flashcard functions. Uh, this one uh, asks the question, how many graduate assistants does it take to change a light bulb? The answer is one, but it takes nine years. We also have uh, a couple of other ones. This one is a little more serious. How many bones are there in the human foot? And the correct answer, 26 or 28, if you count sesamoid bones. Uh, I'm, I'm scrolling through all of these things here with the page sorter. and. Uh, most of these images are found here in the gallery or the gallery sampler. 
and it has uh, thousands or so different images that you could insert into these different slides. This is just a blank slide that's been bisected by a uh, horizontal and a vertical line and uh, we use the typing function to insert some text uh, from our keyboard for advantages, disadvantages, cost, availability, location, and price. Due to space considerations, I'm going to have to cut this clip right here. Uh, look for part two of the same title to continue your demonstration. Thank you.